Morning folks, it's Mayhem Bike here. This is going to be covering the wiring harness and components used to do the wiring on the new bike that we're assembling over here. Um, basically all the components and the wiring harness links will be linked down in the uh, description down below. Uh, basically you have the kill switch, headlights on off, electric start button, this side you got your headlight switch, signals, horn, your pass signal. Uh, going along the harness here, which is also linked down below. First set of wires you'll come to is a green, light green with a red and a dark green with a red. In my wiring diagram that I found online, it says diode. So I'm going to maybe have to order a diode. I'll have to try it after I get it assembled. This here is your, I believe I labeled it, the coil. This is your coil wire setup. So for this, I'm using a Nibby Performance Coil because it has the exact same terminal connections. It's one terminal for the hot and red, or hot and yellow. The yellow one goes to green to the ground to the actual frame and the coil ends. These are your horns on this particular harness. There's two sets of horns as an option. I'm only gonna run one. Go around this way. This yellow and green wire here is for a fuel sender on this harness. At the other end up front, there's another connection for this. Uh, my bike does not have a fuel tank with a sender, so this is irrelevant. Going over here, this is your rear brake wire for your uh, rear brake switch. So there you go there. Uh, as you can see, it's green with a little stripe with black. Over here, this is your um, gear indicator. This is six pins uh, for your six pin connection on your engine. I don't know if the wires match up or not. I may or may not even hook it up, but it's there. This is the connector that would go down to the Hulk harness. The Hulk harness has four pins plus a black. So all I gotta do is repin this or just butt connect it all together and call that a day. It has, as you can see, it's got the yellow, the pink, um, the black, the blue with the stripe, and then a green with a stripe for normal. This here, believe it or not, is a five pin um, connector for the V-Reg. They do make a five pin square V-Reg connector. I'm gonna order one in and I'll match up and plug in just fine. All the colors will match and that'll be a done deal. Coming around to here, as you slowly pan through this wiring harness, you'll see there's two square sets of wires here. These are actually for a square CDI. Um, you know, the six pin combination of four and two. Um, so you got your four and two here. Amazon sells a $7 wire adapter if you wish to go a different route. I already had this other six pin DC CDI, which is what the Hawk requires. So I bought the adapter wire for seven bucks. Just be done with it. Plus it gives me a little more length to mount this in a different spot. Going around here, you have the two wires here coming up. And as you can see, my LED relay is already here for the flashers. Going around, you got your hot wire. Coming back this way, you got your green and your yellow, which goes back to your starter solenoid, which I just happen to have this one laying around. So we're gonna run what we got. As you can see, the color codes match it up. It's a uh, yellow and red and green. There's your color codes that match that. Uh, again, you got your power wires. This is a connector I swapped on off another harness. This lets me unplug it from the battery, which is nice. So I don't have to like, you know, in case I gotta do something else, I can just quick disconnect the battery and be done with it. Coming back over here, this is your rear tail light connector for this harness. You can see you got the brown, uh, you got your blue, you got your orange, you got your brown. So basically I'll disassemble this, fan it out, splice out the green to have a couple different connections so I can go to the tail and two signals and what have you. So that's the last connector on the harness. Again, that's a basic synopsis of this. Coming back up front, you'll see this wild wire bundle here. This is actually the bundle for the, um, it's supposed to go up towards the assembly. I think on this harness, the bike came up to another set of connectors, which branched off, because as you can see, there's the orange and blue for signals. There's a brown for the indicator. So basically I'll probably end up lopping this off to get my, uh, light blue and orange tapped out or if I can find a six pin I'll do that route so I don't have to ruin the connector and wiring. This is the front of the gear indicator end. So this would normally plug into your uh, indicator you know headlight assembly if you had that this would be where that would plug in. 
This is the other end of that fuel and fuel sending wire. Again, I don't have a fuel tank with a sender, so that's irrelevant. And going over here, here's your black, your black and white, your red and your green, which would be your uh, key switch, basically. That'll plug right into my setup that I currently have. Um, you got loose wires on this particular harness. You got a blue, obviously it's headlight. You got white, which is headlight. You got a double ground, which is obviously for something, for your grounds for all that. You got your brown for your running light. And you got a black wire here with a white stripe. Um, to me, this would be considered like an accessory wire. So I may or may not hook something up to that, but at least it's there. Um, as far as that goes, that's your entire bundle harness. I ordered the harness with the controls as one unit off Amazon for about 50 bucks, a little less than 50 bucks. Came in about a week. These are the nine pin style plugs on both. Again, this came already assembled, so I knew it was gonna work. And there's that, blue and white to blue and white. I like the switches, they're really firm and they seem really tactile. They do have the switches for the, obviously the brake switch on this side. And on this side, you got the clutch switch and the wires do correspond accordingly. I peeled this back some. This would show you that it's got the green and green and red and green and light green and red, obviously for when you squeeze the brake. This would be the other side for when you squeeze the clutch, it would have those particular colors. Um, again, this is the entire wiring harness that I ordered in. And again, it's linked off. It's for that build I'm doing with the Hawk 250 engine. Um, if I missed anything, feel free if you need to slow this down and stop it's fine i'm just trying to keep the video short and uh not go over the time limit for youtube which is the pain again these are the horns like who knows me i'll put two horns on but i don't want to kill the battery either and again this is your coil so i'm waiting on the nibby coil to come in i just sent back the other coil i had because i prefer the yellow nibby because it has the direct connections the black nibby i had had two spades and i really don't want to chop these wires off if i don't have to Along with the Nibby coil I got coming in, I got the MSD boot to go with it, uh, the non-resistor boot, so I can, you know, run a different type of plug. And again, using this and a wiring diagram, which maybe I'll link below also, you should be able to sort out if you decide to do a CG200 or CG250. I'm using a Hulk engine swap. So there you go. Mayhem bike.